in this tutorial I'd like to show you how we can split up a segment of track. So at the moment I've got a, comp a closed um, circuit, but if I wanted to add some new features to this roller coaster track, I could select the segment that I want to work on, and then I could use this um, tool here called the split up segment. Now every time I press split up segment, it will break up that segment and create a new vertex point. So I've just created one new vertex point, and for uh, this tutorial I'm going to create th uh, three more. So there's my second, oops, I'll just cancel out of that, my third, and finally the fourth. Now with those vertex points, I'm just going to reposition them a little bit here. So let's grab this one, put it over here, and grab that one and drag it over there. Now if I just zoom in on that section, I'm going to create a little bit of a crossover. Trying to drag the handles so that they're sort of equal sizes, both ways. Let's make that one line up. Okay, so I'm pretty um, happy with that modification, uh, but I think I'd like to do one important thing, and that is that I need to um, change the way the ride goes, because at the moment, those tracks are literally crossing through each other. So I need to set it up so that one of the tracks rides over the other. So I'm going to make it so that this little segment through here if I hold down the control key on my keyboard, I'm going to lift that segment above the rest of the track. So let's go to the left view. And if I select one of those areas that I've been working on, that's now just lifted the roller coaster track up enough so that the roller coaster um, can fit through when it comes back around on the other side. Let's go back to our top view. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that the roller coaster is going to be going too fast through this segment. So I'm going to apply a brake segment just here. And I'm going to select brake and press X on my keyboard. Now I don't want that brake segment to slow it down too much. So I'm going to change the speed and set it at 75 kilometers an hour. So it should still be traveling um, quite quickly and then select OK but because I've now um, slowed down in that section I'd like to speed up as I come out the opposite side and so I'm now going to use the option that we haven't referred to yet the segment type that we haven't looked at and that is the transport transport works in a similar way to lift but it's more suitable um, to less inclined areas so basically where it's not as as steep as you might need for, for a lift to take you up a really steep hill. So select transport and press X and you'll see that it's turned a yellow color. Let's double click on that segment and change the speed. Hopefully we're going somewhere around 70, 75 kilometers an hour. Let's beef that up to uh, 90 kilometers an hour and actually let's go a bit faster than that let's go 120 and we'll say okay and we don't need to break as aggressively over here as we did before so let's double select double click on the brake and change the deceleration down to 2.2 and hopefully that will be enough to bring us to a complete stop in the station i'm not really sure let's give it a go so let's start the simulator As you can see, it's taking a little bit longer to load because there's a few more features this, this time. And if we look out to the side, you can see how the track's been lifted up. 
Let's speed this up a little. Okay, as we come down the other side, here's our brake section that brings us down. Oh, it's brought us down to below 70 now. And we're going to speed up again. Oh, so there's a bit of a problem there. We're not quite decelerating quickly enough um, in order to come to a complete stop in the station. So we need to quit out of that simulator and go back. And one of the things that we might like to do is change um, how aggressively it's decelerating. I could change that to 2.8 and select OK. And the other thing that I observed is that um, our acceleration over here doesn't quite get to 120 because that uh, that's because it's not accelerating quickly enough. So we could beef that up to to 1 and say OK. Now I'm not going to ride the simulator but you could go through and make some more changes and test it out um, and that's uh, basically how we make some modifications and split up segments of track on a roller coaster. That's the end of this tutorial.